Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Somewhat unplanned, like my Indian demo day. Before I forget, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that like button. I put my ride or ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you're made aware when my new videos are out. I don't know how, but I got an email from Harley Davidson, like a marketing email, not to me about this you know contest to win a harley davidson based on you know uh, entries and a drawing and they uh they issue you know entries based on the number of miles you actually ride a motorcycle in a period of time so i figured well i mean i'm riding i might as well try it out why not so i downloaded the app and then my first two really long rides about 600 miles I of course forgot all about it but the other day I was out on like a 500 mile jaunt you know just out cruising in the neighborhood the DMV neighborhood <clears throat> and I remembered about it and I turned it on and all that but anyways long story short is when you download the Harley app they have a section for like Harley events and I was looking through it and one of them was what seems like an Indian demo day, but at my local Harley Davidson dealer, Harley Davidson in Washington, DC, which is out in Fort Washington, Maryland. And as far as I can tell, you basically show up and you can ride whatever bikes you want, as long as you're willing to provide, like answer a few questions after each ride, I guess about your experience on that particular bike. Now, it, I, I don't know if it's gonna be just like Indian's demo day or if it's a little different, they asked me what time I was going to, you know, I called them to see if I could film, if they were letting people ride who had no, no plans to buy a bike, and they said absolutely. Um, they said, you know, no problem filming or whatever. But they asked me for a specific time, and at Indians Demo Day is just, you know, cattle call. Everyone shows up, the bikes are there all day on, you know, they do rides every, you know, probably one ride every 30 minutes. So I'm not sure how exactly this is gonna go. We might just be able to ride one bike or we might be able to ride them all. My priority is I'd really like to ride the Sportster, the much maligned Sportster. It's the motorcycle that every Harley Davidson enthusiast loves to hate, apparently. You know, you hear that it's uh, a great first bike you hear it's a terrible first bike because it's just a terrible motorcycle but then you find folks who just love them they love customizing them love making them their own and obviously with the harley sky's the limit as far as what you want to do to a harley davidson motorcycle there's such a, a rich third party ecosystem so i'm really eager to ride that motorcycle just the, the most basic sportster and see what it's really like interested in comparing it to my own thoughts of my Indian Scout. All right, guys, we're at Harley Davidson of Washington, DC. I'm going to go in and see what's what. We'll be back. All right, guys, we are at Harley Davidson of Washington, D.C. And we are going to ride the Iron 883. He wanted me to ride the 1200. He said coming off the chieftain I would be under unimpressed and I told him it's really not about the power it's just the experience so he was he was with it so this isn't really a demo day either it's just basically come and test ride a bike All right I like the feel I feel a rumble that's for sure
Guys, this is a fun little bike. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. It's fun. As long as you know what you're, what you're getting, it's enjoyable. This is a little motorcycle. It's not a big engine. But it feels great. I really enjoy it. I like the rumble. I like the vibration. It's Yes, you feel vibration, but it's not like bad vibration. It just lets you know you're on a motorcycle. Scout's got, you know, a little bit of the same, not too much. You know, I, I was watching Yammy Noob. He just got one of these bikes for a giveaway, and he hates it. He just can't stand it. And I think he's being a little harsh. Now, I couldn't ride this bike like I do my Chieftain. I'm just, it's too, too forward. But man, it would, it would be great to tool around town in this bike. Yeah, fourth gear at 2,500 RPMs is not great. Definitely need to keep the revs up on this bike. But it's really nice. Anyone tells you this is a bad motorcycle, from, from my short time on it, of course, I think they're being unfair. It's a fun little motorcycle. Tell you what, guys, I gotta get used to shifting different types of motorcycles because I keep getting my foot caught trying to shift. Same thing on any peg bike. I'm so used to floorboards, it's a bad habit. I mean, how does this compare to the Scout? I mean, it's, it doesn't, to be honest. If you're looking for a motorcycle you can ride for years, get the Scout. This is never going to be it. This is a motorcycle you get because you love the way it looks. You enjoy riding it. And you're okay not taking it all over creation. You know, if you're commuting into downtown DC, for example, you know, 10 miles, okay. If you're in DC and you want to ride this to work, that's fine. Kind of hard to get a lot out of this particular route. I mean, just third gear. So this is a used iron, it's got 195 miles on it, something like that. Yammy Noob says it, it turns in like a pig. I mean, yeah, okay, I get it, but I mean, it's not a sport bike. It's totally okay. Feels like it's about to stall out at 1400 RPMs in second, which probably is. <laughs> I mean, I could have taken that turn in first and been more comfortable. And this bike lives in third gear around these streets. I really do, I really do get why people love this motorcycle looking for a bike that you can get and learn I think you'd be fine on it throttle is not too much There's not a lot of power here you know it doesn't matter what motorcycle you ride you can always get in trouble on it and I'll you know I'll put up stats on the bike like I did for the Indians but yeah I mean you get a bike like this you learn on it tool around town on it you can make it a project bike with all the stuff you can do with Harleys. I totally get it. You know, he, he I was telling him about, you know, all the complaints you hear about this bike and so much vibration, etc. Guys, I'm just having trouble shifting. Plenty of pickup.
for what it is. I mean, really. But anyways, you know, I, I get what people might say about the vibration. He was saying that this motorcycle is, you know, better than what I may have heard. It's a newer motorcycle. I don't know. I mean, my understanding is this motorcycle is the same damn motorcycle that it's been for 50 years. guys I think that's it for our Sportster test ride that my friends is the iron 883 well guys we are done at Harley Davidson in Washington DC so we rode the Sportster the much maligned Sportster Harley has a little bit of a rumble to it that you don't really get like I have a little pillowy rumble on my chieftain but it's not I don't know how to say it it's not as guttural as the Harleys and I kind of dug it so as we head back to Virginia what are my wrap-up thoughts I am a big fan based on a, you know, a 10, 10, 15 minute test ride of the Sportster. Recognizing it for what it is. It is not a touring bike. It's not fast. It's a motorcycle. It feels like a motorcycle. It looks like a motorcycle. I think it looks great. I had a lot of fun riding it. I really enjoyed the way that it felt, the vibration. None of that felt to me like inappropriate or, or it would be too much over a long ride but you know it's it's what I can tell you just based off of a short ride so take it with a grain of salt I, if I rode that bike for two hours I might hate it you know obviously with my neck issues those handlebars are not for me for long haul and at the same time you know I'm watching Yemi Noob's videos about his iron 883 giveaway bike and he's talking about how the motorcycle's terrible he hates it it's hard to turn I mean hard to turn I'm not even sure what that means on a motorcycle um, I had no no trouble whatsoever turning the Sportster in corners did it take maybe a little bit more effort than like in, my Indian Scout did yes but you're talking about a motorcycle, it's a fulcrum, it's going to go where you push it. So it might take a little more effort, whoop de doo It also has, you know, handlebars that are much closer together than even the stock scout bars. That's going to have an, it's going to be an issue. If you have wider handlebars, I think it's probably a little easier to turn. That's my experience. I think the Chieftain is really easy to turn, given how far apart the grips are it's a much heavier bike so that's what requires more effort anyways i i could be wrong in everything i'm saying no motorcycle expert i'm just the guy who rides them and tells you what he's thinking while he's doing it uh, that's all i can do for you what i would tell you guys is if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson or you're in the market for a motorcycle and you want to go and look at Harley you need to go and see him you know he's the kind of sales guy you like he's not trying to sell you bikes the bikes sell bikes he's trying to get to know you to find out what do you like to do on a bike what kind of riding to use his experience and his knowledge to help you select the bike that is best for you and that's that's what I like in salespeople that I had the same exact experience at motorcycles at Dulles and and to me that's that's very valuable anyways if you like this video again I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and my ride and ride related videos come out on Fridays so hit the subscribe button click that notification bell and you'll be made aware when my next video is out and as always those things help more people get access to my content which in turn helps me get more feedback and build a community, which is all I'm trying to do. Anyways, until the next video, DMV Solar Rider is out. Ride safe.